Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the generic repository pattern. Before we are going to start, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe my channels. Let's start. As we already discussed in the previous video about basic repository, let's take example. If you have entities such as employee, student, teacher, and students, and you need to create repository such as employee repository, student repository, teacher repository, and customer repository, this is actually boring and repeating work. Especially if all the repositories are going to do the same kind of work that is typically database CRUD operation and this is against the dry principle. Dry principle means don't repeat yourself. As you are the repository, the same code again and again in each repository. Let's see with the practical. In the last video, we have created that one interface that is for a student repository and your employee repository. In this video, we are going to create that is a generic repository. So what I will do, we will create one interface that is your I that will be the generic repository. Okay, that is so it will be the same code. We will take that old code just like uh, this one. It will be that uh, I will get all uh, get my ID, add your update and delete and save. Just we are going to copy this one. Same words. So I will show you that how this code will convert into the generic. So first that I have created the interface that is a I generic repository. Here I am going to use that is a generic T. So that after that we are going to use that constraint where T your T is a class. So this is the constraint. I am going to add that old one. This old code. So instead of that class that is a student entity, I am going to change with a T. So I will change that T. Sorry, this one is T. That T here also, it will be T. But instead of your student ID, so I am going to change this one is your object. That not student ID, I am going to change into ID only. So this is also, I am going to change is your I T okay? So basically, it's giving that saying that okay, like this okay. Let's save it that. And next code, it was here. Uh, if you look that uh, I employ for the I student repository, I have created that student repository and I employee repository, employee repository. You can see that code. So I'm going to. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to create one more class that will for generic repository. This I'm going to write like a Jerry repo. To this one is a Jerry repository. Click on OK. Now here I'm going to implement this your I Jerry repository. Okay. So what we'll do that in here I'm going to create that your Jerry repository T. Okay. This one also it will be the T. Where T is the class. Now I am going to implement. Just click and implement interface. That all the implement interface has been created. Now I'm going to create that your uh, entities model. So I'm going to write a uh, your what's that attribute name? DS general DB entities. DS general your DB entities. So create that object. I'm going to create that and context. One is your text. Make it to assign that one it will be null. Now I'm going to create that constructor. So, so same we have done for that employee repository. Here you can see that I've created that constructor. Same for general repository. I'm going to create that constructor. Ctur, and it will be the your this start equal to your new db entities that it now create the db set also that is a private your db set so this one is your db set 
so db set variable that, that it will become the entities i'm going to write that name of a table that is your actually entity so here the table has the table equal to your context dot set it will be the that's all. now everything will work the same as it is so this one if it's add okay first i am going to work with the add so what will do that one this one your and it will come that entities so i'm going to write like a table dot your add so add what that is your object just only change that object it will be your this one is for add so if you are going to return something just like a get all so this one i'm going to change so i'm going to write like a return your table dot to list so to list okay that's all this one is also done okay and here it will be the save changes your div entities dot context dot for save i'm going to write a constant dot save changes that is it so some parts i'm going to show that one that for add and one for that uh, it will display that data that all data here it will display the all data that too i'm going to show so just open that your home your home controller here i'm going to so this i'm going to comment this one also this one i'm going to, not going to use and this this one and this one not going to use now let's start same like that i employee repository i'm going to create that i generate repository here that it will be the employee because need to pass that entities so that employee is that entities and that here i created that one more that is a student that also is one entity so create that object so obj then that generate repository equal to new your generate repository of employee so that one has been created now assign some some value so same i'm code i'm going to copy because same that i want to save just uncomment this one this one first open that sql okay here i have added two records like okay. so this refresh that execute okay. two record i'm going to truncate truncate table just execute now i can see the data it will be the empty see there's empty data okay open the visual studio again the same data i'm going to insert so this one that particular object dot add here i'm going to pass this one i have in that add method i didn't mention that one this which entity going to pass because i am using the generic so here i am telling that one it will be that employee only so i'm going to pass that employee this one is okay that is added now going to call one method that is for save changes the save the application and run now you can see that data successfully added now open that your sql just execute that one now you can see that data successfully added okay this for employee now open that student okay this one i'm going to use that. so you can see that student is empty now i'm going to change for a student this one i have created for your employee now i'm going to create for student so how will do that one the same one just like a i generic so here you can say that i once we, uh, we created that one generic so i'm not going to create that different different interface and class just like a your student i student repository uh, repository i employee repository i'm not going to create only two class one interface and one class that is a i uh, generic repository and generic repository class that all, that's all so here i'm going to use that i generic now i'm going to use because before i i used that employee entity now i'm going to use that student input entity so i'm going to create a student so obj to generic repository generic repository equal to new that will be the for student okay now create that 
assign the data for the student so into new student that is a name name I'm going to add that take student take a student then second one will be the address I'm going to write that Bangalore then third one is the roll number roll number I'm going to write this and then student ID is the autonomous so no need to assign now so going to call this one dot add okay so add with I'm going to add that so it's telling that one once you will open the add it's saying that it should it's asking that a student object only so because of that so we'll pass that student object here yeah, going to pass that student object okay and now that's save method shape mm -hmm. now run the application Now you can see that the data successfully added. Open the SQL, just execute. Now you can see that the data came. Okay. Now I'll show you that one. How to retrieve the data. For the student data, I want to retrieve. Just comment this all because need to create that object. So here it will be that your I enumerable of a student. So write down the list of list of student equal to this object dot get all. Okay. Just make a breakpoint so we can see the the application. You will see that that all records of a student. step of a you can see this record see you're getting that records that is your channel that that is for imply but I uh, created that object that is a test of a student but don't worry but this one is that your your department that is for imply name imply ID department and salary okay So this way, this way we can use that generic repository. I am going to add the some more functionality because I have removed that one for add. So now I am going to create for that delete. So because in the previous I have added for, I have implemented for two method, one for add or one for get all. So I am going to write for all, that for delete, get by id and update. Okay, now I am going to write for delete. This, this one. exist is going to your table dot find that is a your id so here i'm going to report that table dot remove that is your existing item this one it will be removed but that uh, delete has been done now get by id okay so it will be written only that uh, return your table dot find with your id that is your done now what is remaining that delete is done add is done get all is done now update is remaining so just hit this one so now we will write for update so first we'll check that existing that is your table dot find that is your id Sorry, this one for update. It will be the table dot attach. That is your object. Then what's the context? Your context dot entry dot your object if that is state is equal to modified. 
okay this one for update so here i've created one for add so only that your table context dot add is equal to add first i'm getting for delete first i'm getting that value that particular object object then that particular object i am removing from here so get all that only the two list the table dot two list and get by id the find by id and for update so first uh, updating then it will be saying that it will be modified that state will be the modified so it's saved so what we have done till now we have created one repository interface that is i generate repository here i have created that all this that common method for that crude operation and then another one i have created that one uh, one class that is a repository class here i have implemented that uh, I generate repository and in that home and the controller we have used that all. I hope it's a clear thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe thank you